All right, so two questions are often asked that I want to try to answer, and that is how long before the autopilot nags you? Is it a time interval? Is it, is it something else? And then the other question is what happens when you ignore the autopilot and what are the indicators that lock you out of autopilot? So we'll try to answer those right now. I'll engage autopilot and we can test it out. I've just engaged. Uh, the speed is moving about 65 miles an hour, 75 miles an hour, I should say. The speed is about 75 miles an hour, 10 miles over the limit here. Uh, and we're on autopilot following one car. No real traffic to speak of, but you can count the seconds that it is before it nags. The, w the road is not very, very bendy, very curvy. There are some curves. But for the most part, it's pretty straight. Again, all on autopilot. I'm not maneuvering or manipulating anything here. A continuous shot for how long it takes before the system nags me. And what happens uh, when the system nags me. And what are the indicators for when the system locks me out. Again, still going, no problems. For this demonstration, my hands are off the wheel. I typically have my hands on the wheel. This particular person looks a little bit uh, intoxicated here, so I'll go around them using auto lane change only. I'm also going to stay in the right lane should it, uh, it disable autopilot. So I'm going to go around this person again. Again, one continuous shot. Um, pretty straight roads, some bends, but nothing major. Smooth road surface, no real resistance for wind right now. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just going. Still hasn't asked me to put my hands on the wheel. It's going. So I don't think it's timed. It may not be a timed interval. It may be something with the actual road. There's a merge coming up here, so I'll switch lanes just to get around that merge. Still going. Not asking me to put my hands on the wheel. Um, so we have a, at least at least three minutes right now that we're you we're going with that uh, it hasn't asked me to put my hands on the wheel. So I think that's pretty impressive in itself. Again, I don't know what the what the what the the timed interval is, if there is a timed interval. Uh, my experience is that just curvature in the road. When it senses a curve, a steep curve, it will get you to uh, put your hands on the wheel and make sure you're paying attention. Or if it has problems reading the lines, it'll get you to pay attention. But the lines are very clear. The road is very smooth. The bends are subtle. has yet to uh, to ask me to put my hands on the wheel just yet. Again, I typically drive with my hands on the wheel lightly uh, in a relaxed position. But for this demonstration, my hands are off the wheel just to show what it's like uh, and how long it takes before the system tells you to put your hands on the wheel. Still going, no real indication of putting my hands on the wheel. And when it does ask me to put my hands on the wheel, I'm gonna ignore it just so you can see what it, what you need to ignore, what signals it gives you. Uh, my observation is that it beeps multiple times. Now it's asking me to put my hands on the wheel. It's gonna flash, but it's gonna beep once, then it's gonna beep two times, and then it's gonna beep a third time.
That's one. That's two. And now that's the third one. It's disabled the autopilot with continuous beeps to warn me and now I take over. So that message says that I cannot and I don't see the icon appearing anymore for autopilot. So autopilot is officially disabled for the duration of the trip or until I reset it. And so that, that's the indicator. So the flashing is to get your attention through your periphery. The beeps are what you ignore and you get uh, three sets of beeps. The first set, just a single beep or single double beep, I should say. The second set are, is, a, is the, the, the equivalent of twice that, so four beeps. And then the last one is the six beeps, which at that point, you've already hit the limit. And if you hadn't taken over, it's going to lock you out of the system. So there you have it. Uh, autopilot, the interval of nag, as well as, as, well as the, uh, the indicators for where uh, autopilot will take control and, and disable itself for your ride.